folks, it is Friday Night Blitz Media Days as we're getting you ready for the 2023 season. And on the docket, the crew from Timberlake. We're talking about the Brookville Bees. And joining me right now, head coach of the Brookville Bees in his 10th year with the Bees, Coach John Meeks. And Coach, welcome to the doing? show, sir. Thank you for having me. And of course, we got Friday Night Blitz Media Days. Of course, we'll look back at last year. Coach, you went 8 4. You lost in the regional semifinals, but your teams. 13 straight playoff appearances. So every year you've been there, you guys, all you know is playoffs and you've made runs. But just your thoughts about last season and, you know, obviously looking ahead to this year. I obviously very proud of my guys last season. Um, you know, the Seminole District is brutal. We, we have a tough schedule every year. Um, we schedule tough out of district opponents and you, you have to come in ready every week. And I um, thought the guys played really hard. We lost a couple of nail biters, uh, heritage in class in the regular season just really tight, close games. And then, um, you know, won the opener in the playoffs and then ran into Heritage again. But, uh, you know, we're always in the mix. We got a tough district and a tough region, but um, very proud of the guys last year and, and couldn't be happier with this offseason, how hard that these guys are working. You know, when you look at the Seminole district as a whole, I mean, there's a lot of rivalries and because all the teams are so close together, you know, and, and people say it, it might be the toughest district in the area, toughest district in the state. There's a lot of matchups and a lot of experience. I mean, case in point, you look at some of the games you got coming up and we're kind of talking about ahead to this year, but obviously you got uh, Jamar Lovelace, who a mm -hmm. former Brookville guy. I mean, JT Cruz with Jefferson Forrest. Uh, you obviously Brad Bradley was his experience in the district, Burt Torrance over at Rustburg. This district, everybody knows everybody, you know, Coach Robertson over there at Liberty. You know, so everybody knows everybody in this district and the camaraderie mm -hmm. between the coaches and the players and the teams are pretty unique. Oh, it is. It, it is. Like I said, it's a tough district. Um, you got, you know, really good athletes. And like you said, everything's a close drive. The, 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 the stadiums the, are, tend to be packed because it is a very close drive for an away game. And then uh, you got really good coaches. You, you, cop, you combine that with uh, really good athletes. And like I tell everybody, when I first got the job, I thought people were exaggerating about how good the someone I was because I was in Louisa and I've been away for a while. I thought, you know, they're kind of exaggerating this and they, they weren't. So. It is, a, it is a tough district, and you better bring your A game every Friday night. So who are some of the players we should keep our eyes on? Who are some of the standouts you have on your team? Man, I, I'd be a long list right now. I'm very pleased with a lot of our guys. <laughs> uh, you know, we're going to be a really young varsity team, but I tell everybody it's, it's not an excuse. It's not a complaint. It's a good young. I have a lot of good 10th grade talent, and then I combine that with the returning juniors and, and seniors and how they've been leading this offseason. Uh, and leading this younger group, uh, it's, it's got us all, all very excited. Um, you know, I brought Jordan Whitelaw and Micah Penix with me uh, today. Um, they're, you know, they've gotten a lot of attention, uh, several offers on the table, and um, they've, been, they've been just killing it in this off season and kind of leading by example. But, uh, you know, really, really a long list of guys that I'm, I'm very proud of and what they've been doing. Of course, uh, you opened up the season against Patrick Henry, and that's been a pretty good rivalry you've had over the years with them. It seems like you guys are, have games that go down to the wire. You know, when you play Patrick, you open up mm -hmm. the season against the Patriots at home. So, you know, just your thoughts overall on the schedule because another tough schedule you have. You know, we decided to keep them on the schedule because of that reason. It, it is quality competition. It's a great way to start the season. And, uh, you know, we've just had some battles with them over the years. And it, it's just an awesome, exciting opening game. And, it, you know, it tells us where we stand. You know, we scrimmage Salem for that reason. We want to know where, you know, where do we stand early? And, uh, you know, if you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Salem and then come in and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the PH, you know, it prepares us for that brutal run in the Seminole. What do you think overall be the key to you guys having a successful season, a season you expect to have? The number one thing right now is health. I feel really good about the, the team we have. Like I said, with the younger guys being led by our returners, um, I feel really good about it. Uh, the key to us is going to be health. You know, we, we don't have 50, 60 players on varsity and 50, 60 on JV. Uh, numbers are down a little bit. So I, I just really need my guys to stay healthy. If we can, uh, if we can avoid the injury bug, I, I think we have a chance to have a really special season. This, this might sound like a dumb question. I mean, again, I mentioned you, there are rivalries throughout the whole Seminole. But probably, you would probably say just from distance, it's heritage. I mean, those you guys have had some battles, playoff battles, district battles, the tangle at Timberlake, uh, the battle of Timberlake. It just seems like it's there's a lot going on there because you guys are so close in distance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's a bike ride, you know, right down the road. <laughs> uh, 
and and then we have had some battles with them and here here lately it's it's a really good chance we're going to play them twice every year you know they're not it's not going to be that one matchup we're probably going to see them again in the playoffs so uh it has become a rivalry and a, and a battle but like you said earlier I, f I feel like everybody in the summer is a rivalry now like every game is just like this huge rivalry feeling but yeah us and heritage and the proximity and the battles we've had is, has become a fun a fun rivalry hey coach meeks You've been doing this Friday night thing as a player, as a coach. For John Meeks, what does Friday nights in the fall mean to you? Sure. Man, I'm, I'm going into a 21st year of coaching. Been going to Friday night games or playing in it. I think my dad started taking me to City Stadium to watch Glass or Heritage, whoever was there, probably around age four. So I, I don't even know what a Friday night looks like without Friday night football. I don't think I have a memory of doing anything prior to going to Friday night football. It's just what I've always done. And, you know, still feel like a, I still feel like a kid, like a player getting ready for the games. You get them get nervous and all like I'm going out there getting ready to go to battle. So I still have that feeling. And uh, just I love everything about Friday nights. I tell you, it looks like I tell you, you bring it every Friday night too with your teams because year in year out the Brookville Bees are in the mix. And, you know, like I said, you're in the mix here. So we appreciate you coming because, hey, couldn't have uh, Friday Night Blitz Media Days without John Meeks and the Brookville Bees. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Coach. You're All awesome. Right. Again, the Brookville Bees, they open up the season on August the 25th as they host the Patrick Henry Patriots. As Friday Night Blitz, our media days roll along as we get you ready for the 2023 season. We start with the looks. Like, does this represent who you are? <laughs> like, um, what's, the, what's the statement you want to make? No, really, not really a statement. No. It's just different. It's yeah, just, I like it. Yes, sir. It's been different. How do you feel going into uh, your senior year? I feel great. Um, coming to Brookville, it was just, it was very real good for me. I feel like uh, that I have improved tremendously with everything like grades, uh, being on the field, teammate and team bonding, building relationships with my coaches and teammates. This has been overall good. So I feel good about going into my senior year. Talk about you know you as a freshman. What, who was that person? How have you changed since then? Um, that person, I was at Emerson High School, Emerson County High School. So I had, um, I was going there my ninth and tenth grade year, my ninth grade year. I was touching high school and I, I, I did, I had, had the good academics and, uh, on the field, I, I went all that good. I'm not gonna lie. I, I was dropping punts. I was dropping kick returns, dropping passes, uh, fumbling. So I didn't, I didn't made it. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. Yeah. What, what changed? Um, I think my mindset changed, and then after that, just over the summer, just working and grinding. I wanted to touch. I wanted to touch the field on my varsity, on varsity in my tenth grade year. So I had to, in order to do that, I had to make a change in myself. What did you change about yourself? Was it the mindset? Was it like your approach to like how you go to practice? And like, what was it? That yes, was sir. Like? It was. It was everything. It was my mindset. It was the approach I went to practice with. Um, it was just working, grinding hard every twenty four seven, like no days off. I just had to get it. So how do you feel like you can contribute now in your senior year? How do, what, what, what do you bring to this team? What I bring to the team is um, great leadership and uh, just great team effort. Like, I just bring it all. I got I, I feel like I'm that light that makes everybody shine up. Like, the light that makes everybody, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That light's shining bright on you right now. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's why I got this, like, sunglasses. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, how, you look back at, um, you know, you as a football player, how did you fall in love with this sport in the first place? Um, so when I was younger, I realized that my father figured one in my life. And uh, my mom, at the time she was going through, she was in a struggle. So whenever, whatever, whatever I could do to get her out of the struggle, that was that. And I, uh, she put me on the field and I fell in love with the game of football. And that's, it just, it just started gradually going up from there. How old were you uh, when you kind of? I was fell? five, I was okay. five. Um, and what was it about the sport that kind of kept you going? Um, just me, like just being underrated. Well, not underrated, but underestimated. Like just being the smallest person on on the on the field at the time. Um, just saying, oh, he cannot do it. Oh, he not big enough, tall enough, fast enough. So just proving people wrong. That's that's what I love doing, and I love embarrassing people. So if you can't catch me, or if you can't tackle me, or any anything of that nature, you're getting embarrassed. That's just me. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
you talked about you, you liked a father figure. How has Coach Meeks kind of helped be that father figure in your life? He's definitely been a father figure to me. Um, just anytime I need a ride, I, I know who to call. Anytime I need to talk to somebody, I know who to call. Any Anything, like no matter what it is, if it's or late late at night, early in the morning, I, I, I can call him. I guarantee he's going to answer no matter what the situation is, what the problem is. And he definitely going to tell me, like, what he think of himself, like he gonna keep it 100 with me all, all, all the way. What does that mean to you? It mean a lot, just not having a father figure, just keep it someone, him replacing the shoes of my father, it, it means a lot. Um, so you know, y'all going to your senior year, talk about the goals that you guys have for this last year. The team goals? Yeah. Um, the team goals is to, I'm not, it take a lot of work to, to win a ring, so it take a lot of work, so and we got it, we got to improve. We got to improve a lot tremendously to win a ring. The Seminole, we gonna we gotta we gotta win the Seminole first ring to win a ring. So, however you want to put it, we got it. That's that's one goal. Um, being a great team leader, that's another goal for every all the seniors to come together as one and be together on the same team to be a leader to get to the point to where we can win a ring. That's that's just a big goal for us. We need to improve on that. I know it's a lot of wristbands, a lot of, a lot of camps that yes, you've been to. Yes, How sir. How's that helped you as a football player? Um, just seeing the um, the different competition out here and what I'm facing and going against, and uh, it just it just woke, it wakes me up every time I go to a camp because I see how I need to improve and I see how much people better than me and how I can compare myself to them. Not just comparing myself to them, but um, how can I say it? Just just trying to figure out like how far I can take it with it. Yes, sir. Well, have, have those camps led to conversations about your future at all? I mean, yes, sir. Yeah, what, what's that process been like for you? Um, recruiting? Yeah. It's been very well for me. Uh, I got a lot of uh, big schools interested, uh, SECs, ACCs, Big Ten, Big 12, uh, um, CAA. I got a, a Division One offer from William & Mary not too long ago, and uh, that opened a lot of doors as it is. So. Thank you. Thank so you clearly you have some decision making to, to to do like in the future. What are you hoping to look for in like your ideal college program? And like, what are you hoping for in a perfect fit? Um, the perfect fit for me is somewhere I want. I'm I'm wanted and needed. Um, a great like like a great team, a uh, great coaching staff, and somewhere where I can ball out at. What would that mean to you to play college ball? It means a lot. I mean, that's one of my that's been one of my goals, one of my dreams since I was Jay High. So that's that's gonna take me far as it is, and then especially going to Division One, that just yeah, that just it just it, I and I just feel like I accomplished what I wanted. Is that something you and your mom talk about a lot? Yes, sir. It is. What would that mean to her? Oh, uh, it mean a lot, especially when I received my first Division One offer. It mean a lot. Um, matter of fact, it brought her, it brought tears to her eyes if I'm keeping it a hundred, and. Uh, that's just one step, though. That's just one goal. I got a lot of more. So many emotions going into this yeah. season. Like, how do you how do you control all those emotions? What do you think you're going to be thinking about when you run out onto that field for the first time uh, this season? It's going to be your last first game. I got to go all. Uh, got got guys to go all in. Like, there's no like. I don't want to go in this this uh, in my 12th grade year going in with no regrets or anything like that. I got to come out all in and just ball out. Uh, last one for me is you know. Talk about your journey to get you here, everything that you've gone through, um, all the work that you've put in. What's the legacy you hope you leave behind at Brookville? Um, to be, uh, <laughs> to be the the short the short dude with the dreads that always has the the outfits on. That is a great team leader, a great team player, and just always just bringing a smile to somebody's face. Brought a smile to my face, man. I yes, appreciate sir. it. Good yes, luck sir. to you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, first off, just um, how do you feel going into your senior season? Feeling good. Feel like, feel like we just, feel like we ready, ready to get at it. Yeah, why is that? Sure. Just because we got a young group, we got a young core, but we some dogs. So, so it's like, I feel like, I feel like with this young group we have, it's just, it's just different. They got a different mindset, different, different workout. It's just. They ready, so. So you got a lot of young raw talent. Is yes, that right? sir. So as seniors, what do you tell these younger guys as you're about to start camp? What's the message you want to send to them? Because they're part they're part of the team, so you want to like you know mm -hmm. get into the system, you know. I just tell them just just don't think, just do like like he says example. Like you mess up, then you got another play to redo it and just to 
get it back on. So I just tell them just to keep your head up. I don't, example, like us seniors being Jordan, we don't we don't just yell at the youngest for if they do a bad play or if they or if they mess up on some alignment, some we just pick them back up and help them out. Do you remember what you were like as a freshman and how different of a player are you now and from then? Uh, I feel like as a freshman, I was just, I was just, example, coming out of my eighth grade year on B team and then transitioning to varsity, which is, uh, it started was a little, a little big headed, but then like after like my first practice and then I got the welcome to high school moment <laughs> by, by uh, actually uh, going, what I say? What is it? Uh, a going by singer, uh, a ex singer, whatever it is. Sure. But, but, but yeah. So, that and then. How do you feel like your confidence has grown over the years? I feel like I feel like my confidence has gotten a whole lot better just because of me just knowing the game of high school. I mean, the, the I'm messing up. <laughs> okay, that's how we edited. Yeah. <laughs> Um, let's talk about you as like a football player. Um, where did that start? How did you fall in love with this sport? Uh, I've been playing since I was five. Uh, started off with my mom put me in rec league football for fours, and just loved it ever since. Just loved getting on the field, going hard, hitting somebody basically. Was it the hitting that kept you in the game? That that's I why think. You loved it so much? Yeah, I think so. What do you feel like? Being part of this program, what do you feel like it's it's given you? How do you feel like it's made you a better person? I feel like, for example, Coach Meeks and the rest of the coaching staff, and just the just the just the whole the whole can I say, the whole tradition of Brookfield is just amazing. Like, example, Coach Coach Meeks and the rest of the coaching staff, they lead us by example. Make sure we're not doing nothing bad. It's basically a big old family. Like, he's like, what can I say? I put as he's like he's like he's like the mentor and we just like his his little his little his little what can I say dojo kids or whatever. Yeah. But, <laughs> he's like a second dad. In the yeah. Way um, yeah. Let's talk about that relationship. Um, how has Coach Meeks helped you become a better person as well? He's helped me become a better person in many ways. It's, <laughs> it's coming from come from I saw that he could that, that he put his trust in me in my freshman year when he brought me up from being a 12 year old eighth grader to starting on varsity for my freshman year. So I feel like he, I feel like that just made me trust him a lot more and feel like we just got this connection to where it's like, all right, I got your back. You got my back type stuff. This senior class, talk about how tight knit it is. Like just what's, what's special about this senior class? I feel like the whole senior class, we've been playing football since we was in rec league and B team and middle school days so it's like we just all been tight and we all been playing football with each other since we was little so it's kind of like a brotherhood and then basically we, we just tight like it's like hang out with each other and etc i'm sure there's like a group text or a snapchat or something <laughs> with all y'all what do you guys in terms of football what have you guys been talking about in terms of goals that you want to accomplish this year really the biggest goal is just it's just it's just i mean i'm thinking it's just winning a ring like like, like this is our last year to really do something in high school. Like we gotta bring it all out. We just, I feel like, I feel like me, Jordan, and my other fellow teammate Jalen Pinnell, we just clicked into that mindset of where it's just like, all right, this is our last year. We gotta go all in, all hard. We can't give, we can't just be lazy. We just gotta do it. Like, yeah. kind of like that. I, I love that answer. Um, what do you think it's gonna take for you guys to? those goals like you know winning a state ring like what would that uh, what's going to take for you guys to do that uh i think it really just comes down to leadership and 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 and, and the senior group we have we just got to we just got to be able just to lead lead our youngins to the right way and and just make sure that i put it, make sure that make sure that just like uh, I can't think of the words <laughs> right now. Yeah, sometimes it happens to me. Yeah. Okay, cool, thanks. Um, so you're a senior. Just uh, how are you thinking about, like, the emotions of being a senior? And, like, have you thought about what it's going to be like to take the field for, like, your last first game mm -hmm. and all that stuff? I mean, what's that going to be like? I feel like, I feel like it's going to be just a roller coaster of emotions from 
our first game to our last game. Like you know, I was talking to my talking to I think I talking to my homeboy. I was telling him that like first game in the locker, I may start tearing up. Cause I'm just gonna know that like this is my last time going on the football field at Brookwood that I've been at since I was in elementary school. So it's just like if I think it's gonna be just like a start. It's gonna be like dang, it's my last time. But then it's just you know I'm just gonna I think I'm just gonna snap into that mode where it's like I I got to give him my all type stuff. So uh, it's like. What do you hope your legacy is like you leave behind? Like, what do you hope people remember you by? No matter what happens this season, like people see number eight and think of you. And what do you hope they they remember you? I just I just hope that they remember you as a good person, good player, good all around everything. But I just I feel like I feel like this year, my last year, I just gotta I gotta I just gotta make I gotta make a statement. I gotta do something. That's just like, like just gonna shock Lynchburg, kinda. Right, yeah. yeah, I'm feeling it. I love yeah. it. You got anything? You good? You said Penix is your last name. Yes, sir. No relation to Johnson. That's my cousin. Yeah. Over yeah. at Appomattox. Yeah. Excuse, yeah. excuse me. Let me not. Throw <laughs> I don't want him to throw a football at me. Like, come on. <laughs> what, what's that like? Uh, you can look at me. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, so it's crazy because we we figured out we was cousins last year. We went. So it's a thing that we do. It's called team camp, and it's like us and two other schools and we go and we just compete with scrimmage and stuff and and and, and before that we've been hitting up and we was like thinking like I right, we're the same last name could we be cousins and then I asked my mom and she was like and, and then oh, I asked my grandma and I was like and I was like and I first because it's basically like we were it's it's a big family tree how we related through but but I basically just asked my grandma and she was telling me how we related through my uncle Freddie so that's his that's his first uncle and that is my dad's uncle something like that it's weird but yeah we yeah, yeah that's cool though that's cool anything okay cool man thanks, thanks. I appreciate